Well, have you let your grass grow out of control? Your grass is over a foot long. How do you take care of an overgrown area like this? Stay tuned, I'll show you next. So what you're looking at doing is incrementally taking it down. You start high, then you take it down a step, you take it down another step, and then you take it down another step until you can get to the next step. So right here, as you saw before, it was super duper deep. I have now taken it down most of the way. It's a lot more manageable for that Time Master to be able to hit it now. It's definitely in a place where it can take this and eat it up. The key to it is to actually use the bag. So right here, because we're gonna have a bunch and it's gonna have a hard time mulching. So you're gonna wanna bag this stuff and just get rid of it. Now that it's at a reasonable level, everywhere it's been trimmed down to where it can be managed this is the next step is with your mower go ahead and get it mowed mow it on the highest setting though first So overall, when your grass is 12 to 14 inches, like it was over here, you do run the risk of yellowing it out a little bit. I did minimize it. It's not everywhere. It did do pretty good. The really long areas did get the yellowing out. I expected it. Now water is what's going to rebound that. So I'm gonna make sure that it has a decent amount of water down in the soil to be able to rebound these because that's what is going to be the key. Did we cut more than one third of this blade off? I went from 14 inches down to four inches it definitely was more than i should have ever cut off it's one of those things you got to look at and make sure that you are staying on top of your mowing the reason i didn't is because it got too long and i didn't have water before now so i just knew i was going to go one time for broke so now i have water and i can rebound this area doing it like this is going to initially stress it but if you keep the water on it and let it rebound it bounces right back. So this is what we're looking at as an after and looks really good. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything that I do, please reach out to me at jeremyofthegreenerlawn at gmail.com and we will answer those questions for you. If you like this kind of content and we're in a dog area like this, maybe checking out this how to fix dog spots is a good next video. Check this out. You'll see how to rebound a dog pee spot. I'm Jeremy of the Greener Lawn. Make her green.